uh, welcome to the fourth installation of our of a cup of the series on how to make a POS or anything really I'm just waiting for you guys to suggest on what you want me to make you uh, what this project is going to be but I'm gonna I'm going to teach you how to manipulate data and in this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to update your data okay uh, I know I'm skipping a couple of steps here but someone wanted me to do this tutorial for her so I'm gonna do it anyway and we're just gonna uh, make it look nice and as we go on with the series as we proceed with the series so let's begin uh, on updating data um, before we can do that uh, I'd like you to add another button uh, we can we can really oh, we can use the save button really but I'm just gonna show you how uh, so that uh, I'm, I'm just gonna add another button here and so that you won't get confused on how to do things like to update so you can like uh, have a better idea on how updating goes updating our database goes so name that button the uh, update and double click on edit so we need to open our we need to tell uh, VB to open up our form as soon as we click edit and there you go so go back to the design view double click on update the update button which is button click 3 okay so now we're ready to uh, no we're not yet ready to start updating our database we need we still need to go first to our data set and make a new SQL command so add query next and click on update so as soon as you click on that you will see an SQL command here uh, since our primary key is our customer ID so we will just tell the table adapter or to update the custom all the fields with the customer ID of blank of the customer ID of what we want to update of the data of the data that we would like to update so here you go just click next and let's just rename this function as update um, cost by customer ID so we're gonna update the data using the customer ID as a reference to, to find the location of that data so after that uh, build your project again build the solution again so as soon as we're finished oh sorry about that my screen is failing me the screen of my laptop is failing me and eventually I need to replace this junk anyways let's proceed uh, as soon as you're finished building your solution um, we can start coding so just put this in try catch again and let's say here um dimension ct a is equals to customer ta dot update customer id by uh it will ask us the location of our customer name which is textbox2 just put textbox2 uh, text and customer address um just textbox3 the text textbox4 the text the text and textbox5 the text and textbox6 the text 
notice as soon as you write text box 6 it will ask us for the original customer ID as integer. It will ask us for the location of our WHERE clause in our SQL statement. So, since we the customer ID is located at textbox1.txt, so we need to put it there. Uh, after that one, um, oh, before I forget, you don't need to write this anymore. It could be only just that. Uh, let's fill the database. Database fill um, my DS to inflict the changes that we made. Customer DB, and that's about it. Easy. As long as we're using table adapters, it everything is easy. If anything wrong happens, let's have. Um, VV tell us about the error or OK only OK so that's it uh, I think that's about it so what happens here is as soon as we click the open form or the edit tool strip the form will open and after that, it will allow us to edit what we see in the form. As soon as we click button 3, it will update the data that we want to update. So, let me just do it for you. Let, let's start debugging this. Let's start running the program. And I'm, I can show to you what I really mean. I don't know what's happening to me seems like I'm having difficulty talking to you in English so yep. let's add a field let's call it Nancy drew uh, one Brooklyn Road Brooklyn Road mobile number is one two three one our uh, email is blah 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 and contact mom contact name is Nancy and let's save the data save as soon as we click save we have successfully uh, saved the data now I'm gonna show to you that we will be able to update it uh, I'm, sh I'm gonna show to you first that the data is uh, it was passed to our database so let's go to our to our um database. I'll do this quicker. That would be really helpful. Um POS tutorial, yep. Let's go to our database here. Our database. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So, as you can see here in our database, we successfully um, added uh, a data. Now, updating it. I'm going to update it now. Um, click edit. And let's say, let's put this to Nancy Partner. And just check if we're able to update our program. So let's click update and go back to the database and check that if we were successful in updating the, the data. As you can see, Nancy, it's not Nancy Drew anymore, it's Nancy Partner. So in a way, that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching again. And if you like what I'm doing here, uh, subscribe and press like button. It will be really helpful. Anyway, bye. Uh, happy coding uh, enjoy coding and I hope this was really helpful and thank you guys uh, bye uh, don't forget to subscribe and like bye